Hi, welcome to Ask Me for a Balloon. I'm Ron, and today I've made a chicken. I thought I would share it with you. Well, for this chicken, we're going to need golden rod. If you have a scrap, it's better to use a scrap because it's going to fit beef the beak. Um, so you're going to need a piece of scrap and a full golden rod, two white 260s, and a red, maybe just a piece of scrap if you have that, a 160 and a white 5 inch round. So we're going to start off with the, uh, the scrap, golden rod, you don't need very much, just pull it up a bit, go with the white, rip it a little bit, give it a nice stretch, about maybe 5 fingers of tail, we're going to tie the two nozzles together. I'm going to start it off with the golden rod, about three, four fingers, so a finger and a half. I'm going to bring it in, so it gives it that little fold right there. I'm going to go with the white, about four fingers, I'm going to make a pinch twist, a one finger pinch twist. Squeeze the mega soft, another four fingers. I'm going to bring it back and tie it in together. And we're going to go about five fingers. Bring it in, and tie it into the pinch knot, and just kind of roll it through. That gives it that little bird head kind of thing. Break off the golden rod, you don't need any more of that. I like to pull it up and Tied into the uh, pinch twist that keeps it nice and secure. Put it the nozzle. And that's what we have so far. And then I'm going to tuck the, uh, the balloon in, in between the, the cheeks a little bit. Just like that. So we're going to put this down for a minute. Go on to the next 260 weight. We're going to make the typical bird body. So we're going to make two pinch twists. I've given it about eight fingers, then another one finger pinch twist, and we might make a little flower petal. Actually, I'm going to give it a little bubble, so it looks like this. We want to bring it back, so it matches up with this bubble. Like this, there we go. Twist it in. And then bring it back one more time. So that's what we have so far. This is the third body. We're going to take the head, give it about a four finger tail or neck. And we're going to tie it into these two. I'm going to bring it back, nice and soft, squeeze the air out again, bring it back, so it fills in that extra space there, break it up. Go on to the next golden rod, 260. This is going to be for the feet. Give it a nice stretch. I've blown it up maybe seven fingers tail. I'm going to give it a two finger bubble. A one finger bubble, which is a pinch twist. A little bubble, one finger spacer bubble. Another one finger pinch twist. And then another two finger bubble. And tie them in together. One finger pinch twist. So there's one foot. And it seems to have a little, like a little knuckle right here. It should 
be a bit me. I'm going to take it and pull it through the bottom. Pull it down. And another two pinch twists. If you find that you run out of balloon here, just break it off and add a piece of strap. I'm going to run out of balloon. It's too tight. Break it out. Take the scrap. Simply add it to the knuckles. Two pinch twists. So a three finger bubble, a one finger pinch twist, a one finger bubble, or maybe a two finger bubble, sorry, a one finger pinch twist. Another one finger bubble, another one finger pinch twist, and another three finger bubble. Tie it in, and if it's extra, you can tie the two feet together. And there we have our chicken, it's all we need is his eyes. Maybe manipulate it a little bit. So for his eyes. Oh yes, yeah, so also we need his uh, his head and his little coat. So for a five five inch round, we blow it up just a little bit. Make it nice and soft, and we're just going to stick it in the middle of here. With the pinch twist, we're just going to tie it around the pinch. Just want to add it to his beak. So what I've done is I've, I've made the little, I don't know what they call it, um, I guess this is, I don't know, what is it? It's, uh, I would say it's his, his goatee, there we go, he's got a goatee. So I've added his goatee, I've wrapped it around the beak, and I'm just adding the, uh, the ferns or the frills that he has up on the top of his head. So I've made about a four finger bubble from the beak. I've made a flower petal, about a three finger flower petal, a uh, half a finger spacer, another two finger flower petal, another half finger spacer, and about a two finger flower petal. And I'm going to add this, just going to tie this into here, put it on top. And there we have our chicken. A little bit of artwork. There you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it.